Hello and welcome Before You Buy, where we take a thorough look inside the box before you buy yours. This week's kit is a Ravel Street Burner Series, the 70s Chevelle Baldwin Motion Edition. Although this says 125th scale, this comes from the Monogram 124 scale tooling. So that is just something I do want to make a note of right off the bat. But again, very nice kit. Scale level 2. Looking at the features, it is 96 pieces, molded in white with water slide decals. The collaboration of Baldwin Chevrolet and Motion Performance produced some of the most powerful Chevy muscle cars to ever hit the streets. Motion would add wild hood scoops, side pipes, and more horsepower to make the standard SS 454 Chevelle look like the neighborhood weakling. We have a Phase 3 L88 style hood and chrome side mounted exhaust. Detailed interior plus LS6 454, colorful Baldwin Motion custom graphics, molded in white clear with chrome plated parts and black vinyl tires. Same as our top, we have a part number of 852066. This is a 2009 released kit. There is that big block Chevy with that fly eye air cleaner. The black striping package for the Baldwin Motion Edition. Again, same as the other side. So let's dig into the kit. This kit has been open, but uh, got body there. Our clears. Some of our white parts hanging on there. We do have our black vinyl tires. We do have our chrome in the bag yet with our instructions and decals. Let me get uh, the chrome on bag. Don't get everything lined up to look closer. And per usual, we'll flip to the instructions real quick for our 70 Baldwin Motion Chevelle. Got a little key card there, some special notes, a little index for color choices if you so choose. We've got the engine assembly. My instructions have some circled parts for some reason. But there's our engine. Nice looking headers on this kit. Wheels going together for suspension. And our rear wheels. Interior work. Bucket seats, glass, console shifter. And finishing off our interior with those separate side panels, dash installation and assembly, interior going in, brake booster, sandwiching our parts together, and our bumpers and headlights. Pretty simple. Again, under 100 parts in this kit. We do have some sport mirrors to get some lenses, and of course our decal placement to finish off that fantastic Baldwin Motion look. Speaking of decals, we might as well grab those first. Here they are. We do get a set of black. That is the only choice you get here. Again, looking at the other stuff, we get a bunch of Motion decals. We got some SS center caps, Chevelle emblems, SS 454, SS few different nice license plates, gauge inserts, always nice to get the gauge bezels. We got some hood clips there, get more of our stripe package, more Mr. Motion parts, side marker lights, really nice looking decal set. Even a little screen there for that fly eye. That'll finish off your kit nicely. Moving on, we'll take a look at the body again. 124 scale from the Monogram lineage. We have the SS 454 badging, very prominent. Door handles, door locks, really nice trim. We do have some mold seams. We should clean up. Rear marker lights, Chevelle on the trunk. Of course, same on the other side, SS 454 marker lights and some under hood detail, battery, washer bottle molded in here under the hood. Moving along, here we got kind of the other half with the four pan, gas tank, upper suspension, 
parts of your floor pan. Number two, paint the underside of your interior since we have an open trans tunnel there. Some good looking bucket seats with the backs. We got some engine parts. These would be the stock engine parts. They probably won't get used. Stock SS steering wheel. Pulley alternator steering column part. Here we have our radiator support. Then we've got radiator hoses, front cover, water pump, radiator shroud. Got those big block Chevy heads. Part of our rear differential assembly. Take a look at those headers. Nice two piece headers. There's kind of the aftermarket sports steering wheel. A little flash. We are getting some age on this tooling. Here we got another small tree with wheel backs. There's our sport mirrors, fan, fan clutch. The parts missing on that tree is our interior floor. Carpeted texture has the floor mat and the rear seat molded in. Package tray there. And remember to paint your floor so that doesn't stick out when you're finished. Only part missing off of that tree is a rear kind of tail pan filler. A couple more opaque trees. We've got our dash there. Nice smooth openings. We got our front suspension, our big block Chevy manual transmission. Rear differential and drive shaft together. We got some wheel parts there. There is our side exit exhaust pipes. Nice full one piecers there. These are kind of the Baldwin Motion specific parts. We got part of our I guess, firewall with a heater box there. Wiper. There's that aftermarket intake, brake, brake booster, brake cylinders clutch pedal assembly brake pedals our center console some really nice parts there last of the opaque parts are our door panels always nice to have those separate a little easier to get in there and detail your interior out and of course that fantastic l88 hood always looks tough on those muscle cars here we have the chrome tree. Let me get a full look at that. We got kind of those Mag 500 style wheels, SS wheels, stock chrome air cleaner, a nice SS grill and front bumper. We have a chrome alternator. Another small part there. We got some leftovers of the blower hood scoop. Flip this over to take a look at that SS rear bumper. A couple of license plates shifter and boot we do have a more stock style side mirror rear view mirror we got a tiny little carburetor there I do believe those are our inserts for the sport mirrors big block valve covers headlight inserts another small gauge like a tack three gauge set there moving over here we got a bigger carburetor Looks like a vacuum secondary four barrel, another shifter and boot. There's that great looking fly eye air cleaner. And we have our side pipe shrouds separate. So that's kind of nice to have a multi piece side pipe. A little better detail there. One more loose part. Looks like another like overflow and vacuum canister. Our tires, classic monogram style tires. Decent tread, no naming on either. Looks like four of the same size. And the last sitting over here is our clear glass. We have a front and three quarter rear, all one piece. And then of course our headlight lens inserts. That'll wrap it up for this kit. Nice classic kit, got a little ball in motion. Pictures at the end and thanks for watching.